What's up people, this is YSHQ and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Chromium web browser on the Raspberry Pi. So there are mainly two web browsers which are available for Raspberry Pi and are good. Those two are listed as follows. So why do I need a web browser? Why doesn't it come installed? So the problem lies in the way that I installed it. I firstly installed the Raspbian Lite version on the Raspberry Pi's SD card and then upgraded it to the Pixel GUI which will be linked down in the description. So the installation version which I selected did not install anything other than the GUI and hence I had to install the Chromium web browser. So I tried to look into many forums and websites but I couldn't find any good source until I landed onto the Raspberry Pi's page. When I went through the whole article or the web page, I came across the Chromium part. And hence, I just followed these lines to install it. I have real VNC pre installed, which I'll be linking down in the description. I have a tutorial on it too. Let's open up the Pi's SSH. Put in the command line and press enter. So during this I had to install many other dependencies which were about 66 MB but when I rolled back those all stayed intact and hence very less amount had to be downloaded and it's installed just like that. Now if we open up VNC we'll just show it. If you go into internet, there, the Chromium web browser. If I click onto it, it'll open. There you can see, if you tap in Google, it works in the exact same way as a PC, except there's a bit of a lag or delay due to the Raspberry Pi's and capabilities. I'm using this on a Pi 2, but if I go onto the Pi 3, it works even smoother and the main thing that I use this for YouTube and hence I'll be opening up the YouTube page my YouTube page actually then my latest video the Samsung Galaxy S8 It strikes me with an ad. And there you have it. As you see over here that there are those stuttering lines. But in real, when the Raspberry Pi is connected via the HDMI, there is no lag or stutter till 720p. If I go up, about that, then I start experiencing some lag and stutter. This video is also going to contain a short video of the phone as well as the wireless charging button. So, let's run the video. So thank you people for watching this video, like this video or dislike it, subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time, tada!